So I have some pretty exciting news to share. I think we're going to pick up our car today. So we've been in the market for a new car for a long time and we've been in the buying process of trying to get a new family car for a couple of months now and it's been a really emotional journey for us and we weren't sure if we were going to be able to get the car as soon as we had hoped and then when we kind of took our mind off of it things just kind of fell in place and worked out so I think today is the day we might actually go and pick up our car. I have a mix of emotions. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm kind of wary because of the ups and downs that we've been through. But I wanted to share this journey with you guys. I didn't really talk much about it. But um, I think I might have mentioned in one of my vlogs that we were car shopping or in the market to get a new family car. And it's just been... A long time coming we sold our vehicle that we had which was we'd outgrown that vehicle years ago and we've been needing a like a bigger family car something a little bit newer and we ended up getting a 2017 it just worked out for us so we're going with that and it's a seven passenger so it's big enough to fit our family and it's not the car that we initially wanted but it's definitely one that suits our family's needs and it's a li even a little bit better than the car that we initially went to go buy and um, we had also looked at other options for our family as well um, but this just worked out perfectly so I think we're gonna go pick it up car our new family car well this is not it actually this is just the show model and this is not the color we're getting this is what it looks like I'm waiting for somebody to let me in And this is what it looks like. I think this is the model we're getting. So it's a Toyota Avanza. Ooh, it has the stuff on the wheels. And it has, I think ours comes with this too. I'm not sure. It's nice. I mean, it's, it's not a luxury car. It's simple, but it's nice. I'll have to give you guys a tour of our car when we actually get it. We've been here for like an hour doing all the paperwork and everything so I'll give you guys an update I was going to photo okay boy esperate para okay bueno ya está grabando So nice. Mm. Thank you. Please, 
Hey guys, it's Saturday right now, and I'm just kind of doing some pre-planning to get ready for my planning session for tomorrow, which is Sunday. I'm just cutting out the sticker sampler set that I'm using for the first week of October, which is a breast cancer awareness set, and it's super cute. has all the pink and the glitter in it. Um, we're doing a walk for the Jimmy, not the Jimmy Fund. Uh, the Ross walk with a cancer walk next Sunday. So I thought this would be a perfect little kit to use um, It's a really really nice full comprehensive kit because it comes with pretty much everything it has a few headers and it has um, Checklists and half boxes a weekend banner uh, decorative boxes so it's it's a pretty full full kit, but I wanted to get on really quickly because I want to do a car tour and show you guys our new family car. Yesterday at the dealership, they gave us, after we signed all the paperwork and everything, this was on the front of the car, the hood of the car, which was really nice. It was a really nice bunch of flowers. You'll see that or you've seen that in the video. And I just put it in this pitcher that I have with some water, hoping that it'll last about a week or so. But it's really nice. And then when we were signing paperwork, they gave us these uh, homemade artisanal cookies. It says, welcome to the family, Toyota family. And we've already gotten into these cookies, but they're really good. I had a couple for breakfast this morning with my hot chocolate. So this is nice, isn't it? Really pretty. So I just have it right here for now. I'm cleaning out the car seats for the new car because we don't want dirty, stanky, nasty car seats in our brand new car. So I am washing the covers and I'll have to wash these and wipe them off and everything so that they're nice and, you know, clean to be put into our new car on our new seats. Hello. So this is my outfit for today. It's a really nice day today in Costa Rica and I decided to put on some shorts. I haven't worn shorts in the house in a long time. So I decided to go casual today. I'm thinking I might want to do a practice spin in our new car and go to the shops, the store, and um, pick up a couple things. My friend has a birthday next week. I want to get her a gift. So this is what I'm probably going to be wearing today. Just some dark wash, dark blue jean shorts and then of course my flowy top love this top just have it tucked in the front and then the back is kind of loose and flowy and then some flip-flops just want it to be comfortable and cute to go with the the nice summer like weather we're having today it's so nice so this is our new car this is what it looks like we got the color like a champagne gold color or sand color, whatever. So this is the back. We're still waiting on the plates, but we have like a special plate so we can drive it until the plates are ready. And the backup cameras are going to get installed when that's ready to get installed. So that's what it looks like. And then this is the front. It has the fog lights and the black grill, which looks really nice. It's a nice looking car. And then let's go inside. So this is the driver's side. This is the door. It's automatic, so I can drive it. All right, let's get in. All right, so on the driver's side door, we have all the controls and stuff. So it's power locks. So when you um, lock the driver's side door, it locks all the doors. And if you open it, it opens all the doors, power windows for all of them, a little area right here. And then some cup holders and some storage down there in the door. So this is a Toyota Avanza. 2017 it's a seven passenger mpv it's a compact vehicle so it's not very big and the storage space inside is um 
it's not a lot of storage in sp inside, but they do pack a lot in the car for the size. So over here, we have like another little um, area right here to put stuff. And then this is how to control the mirrors. And um, this is probably for like when the, um, the windshield is fogging up. And then we have um, some controls here for the touch screen and the radio and the um, wheel, which is nice. And then, of course, we have the standard um, blinkers and things like that over there. The speedometer and all of those things. The gas is digital. It's right here. Um, I'll have to probably do another video when it's turned on. I'm not going to turn it on right now and uh this is the center so air conditioning touch screen that's down here this is the center console not a lot of storage but we will get this organized because this is going to be a shared car for my husband and I. So some days I'll have it, other days he'll have it. But I'm going to do the organization in this car because I really want it to stay neat and clean. I have some more storage down here. This is the driver passenger side. And then this is the glove compartment. And it has some wires in here. And it's not organized yet because we just picked up the car yesterday so it has like all our paperwork and the manual the insurance information all of that good stuff and then the passenger side again power windows and some more cup holders down here we still have the plastic on some of the seats uh because we have kids man and they're messy so this is the second row. Let me go back there and show you guys what it looks like. So I'm in the second row. And so you're looking up. All the seats come with headrests, which is um, a nice feature to have. So the back of the driver and passenger side has these pockets for storage. I have um, some really good ideas of what to put in those. Again... We have um, a little bit of storage right here and then more cup holders down there. It came with, well, it didn't come with, they included these uh, mats, but we're going to get leather weather resistant mats or weather mats because these are just not going to stay clean. And we're going to also pick up a car vacuum because again, it's not going to stay clean. We're going to have to work on that but um like i was saying it doesn't come with like the pull down cup holders but i think this could serve as a cup holder in here or um, some kind of storage if i put like a bin in there and then over here as well you have some more cup holders so this is the second row and the second row seats three people it's pretty spacious pretty comfortable the seat belt for the third person in the middle is right there so it is a um what do they call that i isofix um so it's a lot safer than just a lap belt so the this middle person is just as safe as the two people on the end and then over here you have the third row and the third row seats two people but the seats are ginormous like last night we took it for a ride for the first time with the kids they were so excited and there was extra room for like another person right in the middle right here. It's just a big, um, big area for just two people. It doesn't have a seatbelt for another person. But if we needed to in an emergency to bring an extra person, we could fit eight people in this car. So this is what the third row is. And it has some cup holders back here as well and a little bit of storage and I sat in the third row and it was very comfortable this is the trunk space so it's an MPV so because of the third row which we needed we don't get a big trunk space which we're okay with because the seats do fold down to give us extra storage back here and we're not like using this to carry a lot of cargo or whatnot so 
this is fine for us for like you know quick grocery trips and um walmart runs and things like that this is fine for that so this is what the trunk space is like and like i said this is a 50 50 split so if we needed to and we with all the kids like say we're going on vacation to the beach when we're going to need extra trunk space this seat flips down and then we have all that space that we can use for luggage so that's going to be nice so that is our new family car we really really love it we're enjoying it we can't wait to kind of break it in because it's still so new excuse my father-in-law he's like coughing up a storm it's still so new we're kind of like still nervous about driving it and stuff but once we break it in um we'll feel a little bit more comfortable but yeah that is our new family vehicle and we love it.